Hi, this is Mariah from Mariah T on YouTube, and I am going to show you my rat cage and my rats, since I've never really showed you them. Okay. Oh, wait, I have once, but yeah. So here they are. This cage I got at PetSmart for $40. It's nice and big and wide. And then it comes with three doors. One here. One up here. Oops. And then one at the top. For easy access. If you want to know the name of this cage, it's called All Living Things Rat Cage. Well, All Living Things Luxury Rat Cage. Um, it comes with a water bottle, but this is my old one. The water bottle is like this big, and it's white, and it comes with this metal thing to hold it on. So you don't really need to buy things for it. And then... It comes with this wheel. I really dislike this wheel because it's metal and it has, like, little, you see the metal, it's like wire kind of. It's not good on rat feet, so I don't like it, but they're getting fat and they need their exercise even though I let them out of their cage every day for an hour. But I had to put it in here, so I took it out for like six months and then I finally put it in today. But they don't know how to use it yet, and all they do is sit on it like this, and go back and forth. And then jump off, because they're just scared. This cage is all plastic. This is plastic. This is metal, though, which is good. And it's nice and thin, so they can't get out or squeeze their head through. If a rat can squeeze their head through a little bar, they can squeeze their whole body through. This is plastic. And so are the ledges, which is good, because if, if you get a cage with metal ledges, I really highly recommend that you put some fabric over it and put some clips down so their feet, if their their feet can get bumblefoot, if they have metal. So you don't want that. Um, you got the normal wood shavings. I really don't like these because my grandmother really doesn't think that they need nice bedding but I tell her get care fresh get care fresh because care fresh is the best bedding I think in my opinion not stating anything else if anyone knows any other bedding that's better please tell me because it's really aggravating me I want to know which one's the top and the best I only want the best for my boys yes they're both boys if you want more rats get a male and a female together but I don't know which one's better, girls or boys, but I've, this is my first time having rats, so I don't know. I haven't had the females, so when they pass on, which is hopefully in a while, because I want them forever. They're so cute. I love them. Little good boy. Yeah. Um, anyways, I got their little tissue box. You can give them tissue boxes or cardboard or anything you don't need around the house, and they can... Turn it to a home. I made them last night, this little tissue box, and I sewn this fabric thing for my baby doll I had on it. And they pulled it through and made a little house for it. So that's their little thing. And then I have little chewy things, like a little t tissue roll that, as you can see, they actually chew on it. Then I got them little wooden blocks. They chew on those too. I got them for my hamster, and he did not chew them at all, so I gave them to my rats, the ones that they he didn't chew on, and they chew them, so now I buy them for them. They also have, I bought them this little hammock tube thing. It's in the, like, buy ferret stuff, but you can get them anything. You can get them little cat toys if they don't have little stray strings or anything too thin of plastic, otherwise they'll chew on it and choke. But this is a little tube hammock thing I bought for them that's about maybe $11 or $10 at PetSmart or Petco. I got mine from Petco. And it has a hole here so it can go through, as you can see, and laying in it. Then they have a tube on the top so they can poke their head through. And then another end of the tube. And that's it going in. Then I bought them this little hammock, well it's not really little, but that hammock, because this cage comes with a hammock, but 
I don't recommend it. I don't like it because it's it's really thin and it's white and it matches everything, but it's too thin that it's like it doesn't even help them at all. It's just I don't like it. So I got them this hammock. This is also by the ferret stuff. And it was about maybe ten dollars for this. And it's soft and black and furry. I wanted to get them black so it all matches. And it's nice and soft. They like sleeping in it. You can see their fur and little like crumbs from their food. They also I have these um, food pellets that they eat, and it's from Katie, and that was about ten dollars. So you can buy a huge bag of those. Oh, he wants to say hello. You saying hi? Hello. This is Jake. He's the more interactive one. Come here. Come here. He's he's more friendly and interactive than the other one. But if you're gonna get a rat, I really, really recommend you get two. Because if one rat's in there, you're gonna have to give it more attention than you usually do because when you're not with him, he's all alone and scared, and I would, I, I really just think you should get him a friend. So that's why I have two. It was really hard to get my parents to let me keep them, but I snuck the other one in the house for like a week, and they didn't know until I told them, and they let me keep them. So don't do that though, because I don't know what your parents will do. But yeah, he's eating his little pellets. And yesterday I gave them a whole bowl of mixed fruit, freshly. I cut them. Bananas, apples, carrots, cantaloupe. Now I was afraid with the cantaloupe because I didn't know if you can give them it. Every single time I don't know anything about them, I search it up on Google. So I searched it up and a lot of links were saying you can give them cantaloupe. So I felt that you can. So I gave them some of that and I know the other fruit you can just don't give them cauliflower because I know they can't eat that or milk or anything I see videos on YouTube of people giving their rats milk and that really concerns me because they can't digest dairy products very good like cheese or milk or some stuff like that I gave them milk only a little bit and they had gas and I didn't know rats can have that so they were having tummy problems the rest of the day so I wouldn't say you give them milk or cheese or something. You can give them cheese, just make sure it's only a little bit. Don't give them chocolate, because chocolate's not good for them either. Cauliflower, my friend gave them cauliflower, and they bloated and passed away. So I'm not giving mine any cauliflower, not even letting them near it. But yeah, this is the cage. Once again, it has wheels, so you can bring it around the house easier has three doors once again <laughs> and it has on each ledge a lock-in thing for their food bowl which means you can give it anywhere I think I said that already but this is eight minutes into it so I forgot and I'm trying to hurry so those are my rats uh, well that's Jake you didn't see the other one this one's cloud oh you can't see his face it's going the other way sorry for my room it's a mess but that's Cloud. Say hello. I named Jake Jake because, I don't know, I just liked that name. And now since I have him, I don't like the name anymore. Because <laughs> when, when I thought about it, I thought that, hmm, that's a cute name to name my child. And now after saying it so many times and everything, I don't like it. <laughs> but I love Jakey. He's... He's very cute. I love him. And then Cloud, I named him Cloud from the guy in Final Fantasy. If you don't know Final Fantasy or Cloud from Final Fantasy, you can name, I mean, you can name, you can go on Google, search Cloud from Final Fantasy up, and you'll see who it is. I could show you, but I really don't feel like it. Because <laughs> I'm trying to rush. This is already nine minutes long. But, um... I love rats, and people think they are gross creatures, 
I think they're really sweet and they can do tricks and they're cool so I'll make another video on how I got them if you want and these are my rats and their cage just saying now you know he's the friendly one because he's well he's no he's just awake the other one's sleeping he was outside all day you should let your rats run outside of their cage for about an hour a day because you don't want to keep them in one place forever. Would you want to be stuck in your room for the rest of your life? No, you would want to go outside and go play or whatever. So let them out of the cage, run around on the floor if you don't like them on your bed. I've been having them on my bed and they tore it up and my grandma kept complaining. So now they go on the floor and they love it. It's really cute watching them run around. So. If you're going to get a rat or if you have one, I hope this helped a little. I don't know how this would help, but I'm just, just showing you the cage. And I hope you liked it. Okay.